Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Now let's continue. Let's shuffle the deck four times for you. What are the current energies for you, Virgo? You want communication, but you feel like everything has ended, cannot be restarted. You reflect a lot about the past. There's lots of stagnancy there. No progress. Needing communication, especially a love message. Wanting to see some balance and harmony. Now let's see what is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of. Your dream was to build something more stable and happier. But now you feel unloved, rejected, left out in the cold and you see the connection not going anywhere, not progressing, so that dream unfortunately was shattered and broken to pieces and you want to be optimistic again now let's see about the challenges of the past again the five of pentacles feeling unloved there not appreciated feeling like there was so much coldness and them being quite guarded and was not easy to have a, a smooth conversation or to discuss about things because as soon as somebody started talking or complaining there was this disagreement and drama and fights not feeling that easy to talk or all efforts seem not to be valued and not appreciated but the contrary putting the blame and not taking responsibility i th think you were not valued enough for the efforts that you did and for how you felt and It was not that good, in fact. I have the Five of Pentacles and Seven of Wands in the position of the challenge. It may mean that even though they, it was a very harsh, a dramatic connection, there may have been attempts to come back and reconnect. So for a small minority, I'm getting that there were attempts to make things right, but it was going to that same spot being problematic again that's what i'm getting as the challenges of the past now let's see about how do you view the situation with them you see there will be waiting and in the best case scenario would be just to reconcile and make peace one day an attempt to reconcile those differences but still there's hesitation confusion can that connection be happy again? So you are not sure. You think maybe you will be waiting, but you are discouraged by all this waiting period because the progress has not been there or has been very little. Let's see more details. Now, you want a loving mutual connection, nothing else. So if, if it was to be repeated, you'd love that connection to be mutual, that they would have feelings for you, the real feelings, and that they would be more mature emotionally, more stable. Your focus is talking, communication. That is your hope as well, that you may talk soon. 
You believe there is still attraction there. You are not sure about the connection. Having uh, love, uh, or f having that love strong enough. That's why you are getting that energy of wanting to avoid being in a position where there is no love in a connection, but still wanting to hope. Now let's see about the energies uh, they have towards you at this moment. For this, let's shuffle the deck four more times. At the bottom, six of cups. Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. They are choosing distance for now, but they do miss you a lot. I see them waiting. They would like progress to happen, even a little bit, but they are choosing to focus on themselves for now. They are choosing distance. They know that it was very, it it was not very fulfilling for both of you. It came a moment where it became too too difficult to stay there. They would like to talk, to tell some truth, I think, to bring more clarity to this connection. They think communication is needed, a logical one, it does not need to be emotional, even though they do miss you a lot. The truth should be spoken from both of you. Let's see, let's clarify why the Ace of Swords Okay, they want to talk to see if you both can be together again and have more stability. If there can be a long-term commitment there. And they want to talk logically with the facts now. They want to see how you do think now. But I don't see them taking action. I see them just waiting. For now, at least... Uh, I will continue this reading in the extended with more details about them. What kind of feelings do they have towards you? How do they view you from the outside? What are their intentions for now? Let's see what other details can we get about that. What are the mutual energies? What are the energies around each one of you? If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below this video. Or if you are Watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title, the description box will expand, and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching, see you the next reading, and bye for now.